Good morning. Uh, this is the continuation of the uh, previous video that is uh, numericals based on degree of hardness. I think that you are familiar with the uh, problems uh, which was done on the, my last video. Actually, this uh, degree of hardness, uh, we can divide the numericals based on degrees of hardness into some uh, mainly into five types. Uh, uh, the first one is the, the first type was discussed in my last video that is simple uh, substitution that is uh, the mass is directly given that is only one substance without any doubt we can substitute it into the equation in my video in this in this video uh, some more complicated that is not complicated some more difficult question that is level 2 these questions can be discussed First of all, let us uh, recall, read the questions. Uh, this is the question. A sample water is found that it contain 48.6 milligram of calcium bicarbonate, 43.8 milligram per liter of magnesium bicarbonate, 24 milligram per liter of magnesium sulfate, and 50.8 milligram per liter of calcium sulfate. Then the question is calculate carbonate or temporary and non carbonate hardness or permanent hardness of water. That is a question. Once again, yeah, in this way, in this question, there are four substances are being given. The first one is um, that is um, calcium bicarbonate, magnesium bicarbonate, magnesium sulfate, and calcium sulfate. Four substances are given. Then we need to calculate the hardness, that is temporary hardness and permanent hardness separately. Then the main thing is that the temporary hardness is due to the presence of carbonates or no bicarbonate salts. What do you mean by uh, why this is that the temporary these uh, bicarbonates and the carbonates will be dissociated or which can be removed by continuous boiling. So temporary hardness is also known as carbonate hardness. So we can see that the hardness is due to calcium bicarbonate and magnesium bicarbonate is fall under temporary hardness. And the permanent hardness is due to the presence of non carbonate salts, which means sulfates and chlorides. Then we know the equation that is very familiar for you. Calcium equivalent hardness is equal to what is the equation that we I think that we are familiar uh, we discussed on the last video that is uh, mass of the substance cause uh, hardness into equivalent weight of CSCO3 divided by equivalent weight of hardness causing substance that is discussed on the last class. Then the given data I just uh, uh, copy the uh, values only the value of uh, cal the mass of calcium bicarbonate is equal to 48.6 milligram per liter milligram mg of by mg by magnesium bicarbonate is equal to 43.8 milligram per liter magnesium sulfate is equal to 24 milligram per liter calcium sulfate is equal to 50.8 milligram per liter then when i value the purpose some one intelligent one i don't know the intelligent guy uh, he write like that what is the temporary hardness then he had the both values that <laughs> Uh, but actually, the, when this question is asked like this, then you have to do the some procedure. You have to keep it in your mind the equation. The main equation is you have to write equation that is calcium carbonate equal hardness is equal to mass of the hardness causing substance into equivalent weight of calcium carbonate divided by equivalent weight of hardness causing substance. First of all, uh, we know that we uh, let us discuss, uh, let us found the equivalent weights that is calcium bicarbonate. Before that, we uh, found the equivalent weight. Let us discuss the let us calculate molecular weight. Calcium bicarbonate is equal to calcium that is 40 bicarbonate that is 1 plus uh, 12 plus uh, 48 because 16 into 3 that is 2 number is be there so into 2 so total is equal to 162 amu and your magnesium bicarbonate that is 24 plus 1 plus uh, 12 plus 48 into 2 that is equal to 146 mg so far that is 24 plus 32 plus uh, uh, 16 into 4 that is equal to 64 that is 120 calcium sulfate is equal to 40 plus 32 plus 64 that is equal to 136 i think that uh, you are familiar with that but there is molecular weight is also known as formula weight 
then what is the for <coughs> we need to calculate the equivalent weight what is the equation for equivalent weight equivalent weight is the formula mass or molecular weight divided by charge of or total charge of either cation or anion so equivalent weight of calcium bicarbonate is equal to molecular weight that is 162 divided by charge of either total charge of either cation or anion what is the total charge of cation ca2 plus what is the total charge of one anion minus one but it's two that is uh, total it is minus two that is the <coughs> both the charges are two plus two and minus two that is equal to 162 by two that is equal to 81 what about magnesium bicarbonate plus 2 and minus 2 that is 146 by 2 that is equal to 73 and uh, MgSO4 that is 120 uh, that is the <coughs> molecular weight uh, because uh, this is will ionize will form Mg2 plus and SO2 minus the total charge of both the cation and anion is equal to 2 that is divided by 2 that is 120 divided by 2 is equal to 60 and the same the calcium sulfate this it will ionize will form Ca2 plus and SO4 2 minus so um, uh, that is, um, let us discuss that. First of all, let us discuss the <coughs> temporary hardness. Uh, what about the temporary hardness is we know that this is mainly due to the existence of these carbonate salts. So let us uh, substitute this um, equation. What is the equation? Hardness, uh, equal hardness is equal to mass of the substance cause hardness. What about the, the first one is this. So what about the mass 48.6 into equivalent weight of calcium carbonate is always same that is 50 divided by the equivalent weight of hardness causing substance the equivalent weight of mg calcium by carbonate is equal to 81. One more salt is be there because uh, 43 that is uh, also magnesium bicarbonate cause this temporary hardness. So 43.8 into 50 divided by 73. So total is equal to the, that is uh, it become when you calculate it become 30 and 30 you will get 60 ppm or 60 milligram per liter. So what about the permanent hardness? Permanent hardness is due to the existence of these both. So 24 into uh, 50 divided by its molecular weight is 60 plus 50.8 into 50 divided by 68. So that is become 20 plus 37.3 for so total becomes uh, so it's become equal to 57.35 ppm or milligram per liter. So what about the total hardness? We know that total hardness is equal to temporary hardness plus permanent hardness. Uh, sorry, hot order hardness is equal to temporary hardness plus permanent hardness. That's it. So 60 plus uh, 57.35. That is equal to 135, 115.35, uh, 0.35 ppm. This is the uh, one more example. This is more difference. Let us first of all let us treat the question. A sample water sample contain the following compositions: calcium bicarbonate is equal to 2 ppm simple magnesium bicarbonate is equal to 4 ppm simple sodium bicarbonate is equal to 7 ppm calcium chloride is equal to 8 ppm mgso4 is equal to 10 ppm calculate total temporary and permanent hardness when you see this question you think that this is very easy question but there is a problem is hiding here did you see this sodium bicarbonate 7 ppm Anything smell fishy? Yes, I feel. Because according to the definition, what is the definition? Hardness is mainly caused by calcium, magnesium and heavy metals. The sodium do not cause hardness. But this bicarbonate can cause hardness. So that is the problem. Problem you have to just read the question um, thoroughly and that check whether the existence of the sodium bicarbonate the problem sodium bicarbonate you have to follow the, this strategy the strategy is like first of all you have to calculate total hardness first step then you write in your note First, first step, you have to calculate total hardness. How can you calculate total hardness? Total hardness can be determined by excluding this. Which means the total hardness is caused by calcium bicarbonate, magnesium bicarbonate, calcium chloride and magnesium chloride, magnesium sulfate. Did you get it? You do not take sodium bicarbonate for total hardness determination. Why? 
because sodium do not cause uh, total hardness so it's bicarbonate has some influence but sodium bicarbonate do not have any influence on total hardness so let us discuss uh, it in detail um, what about the let us discuss the molecular weight of calcium bicarbonate that is equal to uh, molecular weight is 40 plus 1 plus 12 plus 40 that into 6 to 162 magnesium bicarbonate is equal to 146 magnesium sulfate is equal to 120 calcium chloride is equal to 111 sodium bicarbonate is equal to 84 let us discuss the equivalent weight. Calcium bicarbonate is equal to molecular weight divided by Cal2 because Ca2 plus HCO3 that is twice that is equal to also 2 divided by 2 that is equal to 81. Magnesium carbonate same Mg2 plus and uh, plus 2 minus 2 divided by 2. MgSO4 Mg2 plus and SO4 2 minus both are plus charges sum of charges equal to 2 uh, bo both uh, cation charge and uh, anion charge equal to 2 so divided by 2 is equal to 60 calcium chloride 40 plus 71 that is equal to 111 so calcium chloride um, when it is ionized it will form that is 55.5 here that is sodium bicarbonate the molecular weight is equal to 84 and the equivalent weight is equal to the, when it is ionized will form Na plus plus HCO3 minus please keep it in mind that both the, uh, the in the case of sodium bicarbonate both molecular weight and equivalent weight are same let us calculate the total hardness that is the what about the mass of this uh, total hardness uh, the um, calcium bicarbonate is equal to 2 that is equal to 2 into 50 divided by 81 81 is this this uh, just if you go on through this we get this that is um, 2 into 50 divided by 81 plus 4 into 50 by 73 plus 8 into 50 by 55.5 plus 10 into 50 by 60. So we'll get uh, 1.234 plus and we'll sum we will get a 19.50 ppm. Do you got it? Yes. Next, uh, the, the next step is you have to calculate temporary hardness. At that time, you have to use sodium bicarbonate. So the calculation is like this: two into fifty by eighty-one plus four into fifty by seventy-three plus seven into fifty by eighty-four. That is the influence, uh, the contribution of sodium bicarbonate. The calculation will get one point two three four plus two point seven three. 9 plus 4.166 that is equal to 8.139 ppm then you then you have to calculate permanent hardness how that is total hardness by temporary hardness that is equal to 19.50 minus 8.139 you will get 11.36 ppm dear students if a question is asked by including sodium bicarbonate the strategy of the problem is like first of all you have to calculate total hardness by excluding sodium bicarbonate that is step number one step number two is equal to determine temporary hardness by including all the carbonates and bicarbonates including sodium bicarbonate next step permanent hardness that is equal to total hardness by temporary hardness please work out similar problems by your itself okay thank you